Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to this party that one of my coworkers is putting on and I bought a costume to wear. Hi guys, happy Saturday. So we came with, we um, came to service my second mom's car in Long Island, so we're here. We went to this Maserati dealership in Long Island to go get the car service. She has an Alfa Romeo car, truck, okay? I don't know, I guess it falls under Maserati. If not, I don't really understand why we were at a Maserati dealership. However, when we oh. were there, we saw a lot of Alfa Romeos there. So I guess that's where they do it at. We Googled, um off our meal service whatever and that's where we found that we went to go to it we went and the people were saying it's eighteen hundred dollars to service the car servicing the car meaning change the oil uh maybe align the wheels i don't really know check the brakes you know little things like that and they were charging eighteen hundred dollars now off rip when i heard them telling her i'm just like is it because we're women but then i'm just like Okay, whatever. Whole entire time a man was sitting in there, like across from us. And so um, after sitting there for a while and they took the car in the back, asked the man if he had a Maserati or an Alfa Romeo. He said he had a Maserati and she asked him, how much do you pay for servicing? Oh my gosh, it has to be so expensive. He said, no, I'm being $500 for basically the same thing that we were getting done. And at that point we realized that they were trying to rip us off. And so the, we told, she told the man how much we were gonna pay and that they said that it was 1800. And the man was letting her know that, yeah, there, no matter what you're getting done in the name of like servicing the car, mind you, it's a fairly, she's not had it for a year yet. He said, they're ripping you off. I think they're charging you too much money. And so the guy at the place heard her, heard the man telling us outside that it's too much money and it doesn't matter what it is. They're charging us too much for the service. And all of a sudden he came out and he was like, oh, I didn't see that your car was an Alfa Romeo. I thought it was a Maserati. And so now the price is going to be $600. Up on finishing the service or whatever and getting ready to leave, um, he somehow told her that it was twelve hundred dollars i don't know how the price keeps fluctuating like that and then when we're gonna leave the card machine wasn't working to pay at the moment so he told her that at a later day he's gonna like send her something where she could pay so he messaged her today and told her that it was twelve hundred dollars and she asked him for an in invoice and then it went down to a thousand and three dollars and asked if he should charge her card so i told her to tell him I would like an invoice of the breakdown before you charge my card because it doesn't make sense why it's so much money. And it just irritates me because eventually I'm going to be a woman with a car. And if this is what I'm going to have to go through, I'm going to be so mad. Because why are they upcharging women for things like this? Because they know we don't know. Oh my goodness. Anyway, that was how the morning went. Now we're going to move on to how the night went that following night mind you we came home from work that morning i came home from work that morning ran in quickly ch um changed got me already made her a little bottle took some snacks uh, with us because i knew we would have had breakfast yeah. at some point and we just left no sleep we came home at about three o'clock imagine how at that point i'm running off of fumes so we get some food we come home we bought snacks and stuff when we were there feed the baby and stuff like that we come home we get some food i shower eat and i went to sleep because i know that i had to go to that party following the same night so i slept and like you know got my energy up and then started getting into the party stuff now it's not necessarily a costume party but it is a uniform party oh my goodness so I bought these things for me on Shein and they're just now getting delivered. I bought this thing of bows. I already have some bows in there. I bought this dress for myself that I wanted to wear on her birthday. 
I bought two options. This is now getting delivered. So cute. You put one side on like so. Y'all can't even see really. So you put one side on like so, and the other side kind of just hangs on your hand like that. So very stunning. I want to wear pink for her birthday. So that's how this came about. And then I bought her this dress for her birthday as well. I think it is the most beautiful little dress. Is that not so stunning? And you see how the pink that I'm planning to wear is played off on here. Her dad is also supposed to buy this set of outfit for her birthday as well. Because we are taking her to the aquarium for her birthday. So I do have that outfit as well. So she's going to wear that. And she is also going to wear this. Because when I come home, I want to have some things set up. A little cake. Take a few pictures and stuff like that. So um, that is the plan. That's where this dress comes in, I think. You guys know I have to commemorate everything by taking a picture. I'm going out tonight and I have to do my lashes so I just washed my face and I'm going to do it before I shower. So when I shower, I don't have to wash my face again. This is the costume for tonight. And this is a slip because I had already bought another costume, but it doesn't. It's so short. Oh my God. So I said, I'm going to buy a slip. Naturally, I would put the slip underneath it. But I didn't know if the slip was going to get here in time or whatever. I'm going to try them both on in a second here. I'm going to shower and try them on. I have the nanny schedule to come at 10. So in an hour and 20. But this is what this one looks like. I really need to try this on, but I think it looks like it's going to fit. So we're going to try it on in the room really quickly. It has a little nurse hat or whatever. And a little, is this a belt? I don't really know. Let's get rid of the trash. And we're going to go see. Thank you. So we'll go see and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the lashes. Let's bring all this stuff, actually. Alright guys, so so far, this is what my face is looking like. Oh, my brows look a little harsh. It's a little hot in here, but everything is proportionate in terms of like, shades. Um, I tried highlighting a little bit. I don't really know. I mean, in the mirror, it looks fine and everything, but, you know, my hair is tied. I'm going to hop in the shower, rinse me off, wash myself off, and then I'm going to get dressed. Show you guys the outfit one more time. I'll have to put a thing on the screen, but basically this is what it looks like. I'm going to be wearing a pair of black stockings. I mean, that's TBD. I might not wear that. It's a little nurse dress. You know, and it has this little belt that goes around it. Mia is crying. That's the outfit. Hello, you guys. Happy Sunday. Let's recap really quickly. Last night. It was great. Last night was great. I know I didn't come back and show you guys the outfit. So I'm going to have it on the screen here so you guys can see. Last night was great. Whenever I don't go out in a while, and I don't go out all the time, but whenever... It's been a while when I go out. I always have such a really good time. Last night we were drinking Douce. Got a few bottles. That's a good bit out of some bottle that we had last before the place closed. This is Liquid IV. My coworker dropped me home and I had to ask him to stop by the Walgreens and buy some Liquid IV because I knew my head would have been pounding more than this slight little tingle that I feel right now. It's my second bit of liquid IV, and I'm going to stay hydrated today. But um, we're in the kitchen. It was so, so good. It was a uniform party. It was a really good vibe. It was better than the one that I went to last week. Mainly because, one, this one was indoor, so a little bit more comfortable in terms of, like, the outside environment. And two, it was just a better party. It was put together properly. It was really nice. The ticket was $4, but it was really good. I ended up paying $20 for the ticket because I, at first I didn't pay for it. And my coworker was like, oh my gosh, send me something. I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll send you something. I sent something. 
But um, yeah, it was really, I really had a good time. Can't complain. So now we're gonna find something for Mia to eat and then we're gonna edit. But that's what the morning's looking like. Went to a party, had a really good time with my hair down. Oh baby, it was great. Go out every once in a while. Don't just live this life where get paid, pay the bills, and that be your entire life. Do something too. Because later on in life, you want to be able to say, man, I had a really good life. I enjoyed my life somehow. This is not all there is to enjoyment, but, you know, yeah, bye.